go. Tell you what, this fight could go 10 seconds real easy. Both of these guys have finishing ability like no other. Oh, a couple of big shots landed beautiful, by Marquise. Beautiful takedown, though, by Latrell in response to that. Marquise doing a great job at defending this takedown, though. Got one underhook. Let's see if he can get the other one. I don't know how he's defending this right now. Latrell is in deep on that body lock right now, but. Good, good wide stance. Great wide stance, keeping that underhook, pulling him up. Man, Marquise is doing a great job at defending this takedown here. Latrell should, should reshoot here and look to get a little lower, but man. I am shocked that he just defended that takedown. Great, great job defending the takedown from Latrell. Latrell needs to keep going for takedowns now because Marquise has a lot of knockout power. And it's not gonna get, he might not get him on the first one. But he might get him on the second or third takedown offense. There he goes, starts peppering him. Nice inside low kick. Marquise stalking him here. Latrell doing a good job at circling, being smart, keeping those hands up, but he's keeping his head in the center line. What he needs to do is get off that center line and shoot a takedown on that cross or on that jab. They're in an open stance here. The oh, great the cross there Marquise. landed on Marquise. Marquise not phased by it, coming straight forward again. But they're in this, they're in an open stance right now. Latrell can have that single leg at any time. He just needs to look for it on one of those shots when uh, Marquise is throwing that jab. Let's see a little a little thaw here in the action. A little relax now. I man, I'm still. They <laughs> traded. I am just, uh, I'm still freaking out over here by that takedown defense by Markeith. I cannot believe he actually defended that. Doing a great job at seeing the, the shots coming. Both of these guys with like explosive abilities. It's gonna be interesting as this uh, fight goes on. For sure, Markeith keeps slinging that left hand. Set it up with a jab. Start peppering it some. Don't, you know, he's had a lot of success with uh, a lot of power in that left hand, but he'd be, he'd be wise to set it up. Throw a couple jabs, see where Latrell's head goes, and then throw the left. Latrell doing a good job here at throwing some feints, level changes. I don't like naked kicks. Latrell needs to put something behind that kick. He's covering up really hard. Mm -hmm. He needs to move. Move your feet. If you have the time to put your hands up and look down, you have time to move your feet. Oh, they're slinging now. Both of them. Marquise but, but throwing they, bombs. Latrell they were looking a bombs. little tentative there for a second. They felt each other's power. Uh -huh. Like we can take. They're both like kind of like we can take that. They both realize they can take each other's shots. That's when the fights get real exciting. Boy, nice right hand by Latrell. Moves his head out of the way at the uppercut. They have similar styles. Very much so. Now Latrell's not afraid to sit down with him, throw some punches. Markeith coming forward. Landing a bunch of a shots. A bunch here. of shots. But defends a takedown. Man, I'm just shocked. Latrell is getting in so deep on these takedowns. Oh, they both land a pretty big hook there. At the bell, man. These guys were throwing down. Amazing first round. Amazing Official first round. Official Troy Worthen is on the spot. I believe Marquise got the first round. Yeah, defended I think some, so. Defending some great takedown attempts, landing more shots in the beginning. But at the end there, they were, they were, th they were exchanging. I think this second round is going to be real exciting. He paid for it as he was a slow off the stool and is still hands on his hips. He was gulping for air in between rounds. We'll see what kind of pace he can bring here into the second round. Yeah, Marquise looks chill. He's eating those inside calves, though. Those will add up in a fight for sure. Latrell adding some feints now, some level changes, being smart here. Just what you expect from our Bantamweight nice. championship fight. Very nice jab from Marquise. That's what he needs to start doing, throwing more jabs. Latrell, use those feints. Use your jab as well, but use your jab for the takedown. Marquise Corner saying he's tired, talking about Latrell. Um, but now, see that inside leg kick is going to add up. Nice hook. That's how you land the big shots. Get him thinking about the legs. Get him thinking about your jab. Marquis coming back to reclaim the center of the combatagon. Nice and Marquis low kick. lands a big overhand right after it. Marquis has to fire whenever they're in range. He can't just let him sit there and sling that inside leg kick. Kind of plotting now with that lead leg. Uh, you got to think that Marquis' lead leg is a little... Uh, Compromised. Those are some heavy kicks Latrell is throwing. Liddell's doing a great, oh, and now Marquise goes to the body. Smart move there from the young fighter. They're both 5'9", but built really different. Marquise yeah. got really long legs and arms. And it yeah. looks like even whenever uh, Latrell tries to kick him, he has to come in range. Yeah, and Marquise, or uh, Latrell is a little stout up top, you know, a little more, a um, little thick up top. 
Nice oh, kick to go. the body from Latrell. And that's something that Marquita is not doing. Marquita is not throwing kicks. So all Latrell has to worry about are his hands here. That lead leg does not look like it is um, comfortable. Oh, ha hands on the hips. Oh, head kick there from Latrell now. Put your hands on the hips, you get a little shin music. Oh, nice right hook there from uh, Marquise. Latrell's winning this round, though. He's coming out with a, a great game plan, being smart, using the kicks, using the feint, level changes. I like what I'm seeing. Both these guys are just kind of chilling in range right here. Oh, that was a slow inside, low kick. Very slow inside, low kick. Marquise looks like he might have some labored breathing now, looks a little tired. That inside leg kick, man, is just eating up, eating up Marquise's leg. Still getting Latrell to react on the feint. That left hand, that left hand landed on Latrell's forehead. That could not have felt good for Marquise. Official Troy Worthen telling them to get busy. Yeah, they are definitely. It's, it's odd to me, too, because they're staying in each other's range. Someone should be firing. Whoever's firing the shots is going to be winning this battle right here. And right now, Marquise is the one that needs uh, to catch up some. Nice pull. Nice shoulder roll there. That they, hook would have landed flush on his chin. They've done a good job, a job of countering each other, so uh, they know there's a price to pay for coming into that range. Yeah, they're both pretty fast, man. Nice right there from the trail. Yeah, and that's the, that's the buzzer there. Uh, ten, about five seconds left now. All right. If you ask boys are me, getting busy. I think it's 1-1. Yeah. I think it's 1-1 right now, guys. Well, you hit the nail on the head with the uh, majority decision call earlier. Yeah, it was a draw involved in that. One of the judges got it right. I'm not going to say that it could have been, uh, it could have been, like I said, I see it traditional judging. They're going to definitely go for Shinori on that fight. Mm -hmm. But I could see the draw as well. But here we are in our uh, amateur undercard main event, and it is an absolute banger between Marquise Simpson and Latrell White. Amazing fight, amazing fight. Third and final round here coming up. Yes, indeed, so I cannot wait. As I'm looking at the body language, and Latrell's just kind of like doubled over. He's engaged with his coach in this thing, but the, just the overall body posture just showing a little bit more fatigue than Latrell. Yeah, he's definitely fatigued, but Marquise looks tired. I mean, Marquise looks tired. I meant Latrell Marquise. Latrell looks tired. They both look tired. Yeah, they do, and rightfully so. The pace has been yeah, fantastic. Explosive. Third and final round coming up. Latrell having a little wardrobe malfunction. Here we go, here we go. These guys agreeing to, I think, knock it up one more time. Troy giving him an extra, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> Waiting for that gate to close. And here now this is who wants it. This is who wants that belt. That's what this round is about. It's about who wants it. Marquise letting Heavy it inside of that kick. leg. That's really been the game changer in this fight is that inside low kick. Latrell realized he's landing it. Oh, with a front kick. That little jump step in. You know, and statistically speaking now, at this point in the fight, it's very hard to get a knockout. Um, that's just the way it is. You know, you get tired, you're a little more fatigued. Most knockouts happen in the first round. So I think it's going to be a matter of who puts more punches together and uh, see who finishes this fight. Man, amazing lead hook. Amazing. Man, Latrell came right over the top, landed before the uppercut got to him. Great, great job. Combos. Both of these guys need to throw combos. That's what's going to win in this fight. And that's what I think uh, won Marquise the first round was a fantastic combo. For sure. He was landing some really nice combos. Now he's looking for those one punches. Like I said, sometimes early in your career you get some big knockouts and you just think you have that power and you can knock anybody out. And then you face nice someone that man. can take your shots. Yes. Oh, nice right hook there yeah, from Latrell. Great right hook from Latrell. If he would just oh, oh, heavy shot from Markeith. Had a little headbutt action there. The hook, but Latrell's throwing down. He did. There was a moment there where he was on wobbly legs. They call it the chicken dance. Markeith, though, is putting together some shots that can win him this fight. He can't get taken down, though. The trail would be wise here to change the level and go for a takedown. Both guys, big shots. Oh, miss. Landed some big shots of his own there, Marquis. I mean, Latrell. Man, this fight is. Big kick there. One minute left, and I really think right now that Marquis has this in the bag, but Latrell has a minute left to finish this fight, get him, wobble him himself. There you go. Boom. Big Lands hooks. A big right. A bunch of big hooks. Covering up, Marquis. 
Oh, and wait, the let's crowd go. Gets the finish. What an amazing way to finish the fight in the third round. Starts throwing bombs at Marquise. Marquise just covers up, I think, out of exhaustion for the most part, but he was landing those shots. And Latrell ends up getting the finish what and the Bantamweight title. A finish. That was an amazing fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes and 13 seconds in round number three, here is your winner by TKO and the new Combat Night Bantamweight Champion, Latrell White.